For years, we have lived in a cave as a community. And the whole mindset that we have evolved and developed over the years is that if you go outside of the cave, it is unsafe and it's not something that you should be doing. And a lot of us carry that mindset still and uh, that's, that is not their fault. This is how we have evolved over the years. Doing anything new, doing anything which is not in your comfort zone is scary. And a lot of people are gonna come forward to you and will say, it is not safe, it is not wise to do so, and I call them as dream killers. It's not their fault, it's how over the time, over the evolution, we have built ourselves. So when your mom or your dad comes out and say that it's not really good that if you move into a different city or different state and join a job, or if you move into a different country and pursue your dream there, it's not really good, it's not safe, it's uncomfortable. That is okay, that is how they have evolved over the time, over the years. But if you want to achieve anything good, anything substantial and meaningful, and that fulfill your heart, that is always going to be in the uncomfortable zone. I've moved into the un uncomfortable zone over years again and again and again. And every single time I have received the same advice that why are you doing it? Why are you trying it? You're already doing something which is comfortable, which is so substantial and this is also well settled. And again and again, I have left that thing, moved into uncomfortable zones and tried to do something new, pursue my dreams. And over the years, dream have evolved and kind of upgraded as I moved into different territories. And only thing I've learned is change is the only constant thing and I'm ready to attempt new things, new ventures, everything that comes with a new dream. When I started my first YouTube channel and first video, everybody was saying, this is crazy, nobody's going to watch it. And I'm doing this again, I'm starting this Etsy talk and a lot of people came to me that why are you doing this Atesh, you are already making great tutorials, there's no need of it. And you should only bring the high profile people, only the CEOs and CTOs of the big companies. And I'm like, no, that is not the vision behind the Etsy talk. Yes, definitely I'm moving again into the unknown territories, something which I have never done, something which I have never explored. But I'm ready to give it a chance and give it a challenge that yes, I can actually try it, maybe fail it, but I'm ready to do it. See, you need to understand one thing, the vision behind that C talk. The thing is really simple. If the CEO of Paytm or Zeroda wants to make any statement, there are thousands of mic for them. Everybody is going to listen to their voice. But that is not what Etsy Talk is. Etsy Talk is all about how people are pursuing their dream. And your dream can be anything. And it can be a simple attempt that I want to get into IIT or a simple attempt that I want to get into FANG companies. And yes, there will be people who will say that IITs are overhyped or the FANG is overhyped or working with your mentor is overhyped. I disagree with that. I totally disagree with that. It is your dream. And somebody, just because somebody has failed in achieving their dream, should not stop others in achieving that, or at least giving a try on that. I'm a firm believer that you should pursue your dream. It can be IIT, it can be an IT, it can be going into the fan companies, it should be fine. And whatever helps you in achieving that dream, you should focus on that only, not on the naysayers. Over your life, when you are going to attempt or going to prepare for an IIT or going to prepare for the FANG, you will meet people who will say, it is overhyped, it is not worth it. Just because they, it's not their dream, you have no right to stop somebody that you should not pursue that. You should definitely pursue that or at least give it a chance or give it an attempt that yes, I tried for that. I have failed, but I have tried. And that is all what Etsy Talk is all about. I want to bring people who are not from IITs, not from NITs. Maybe their whole journey was about cracking the IIT. Maybe their whole journey was about cracking the fan companies. Or maybe their journey was to have a failed startup or a successful startup, whatever that is. I want to give all of them the voice. And the Etsy Talk is more about like having a book. Now, when you read a book, it's not always guaranteed that each page is going to teach you something substantial, something out of the box. It doesn't work like that. Every person who comes and who you talk, sometimes they give you something great which can help you to achieve your dream. Sometimes it doesn't. Etsy Talk is open about anyone and everyone who wants to come here 
maybe you are from any college at all or you haven't done any college at all but you have achieved something great or you are trying or pursuing something which is bigger than you then yes Etsy Talk is all open for you it's not about just CEOs or CXOs of big companies it's about anyone or everyone who wants to be here and during that whole talk if there is just one point or one statement that's that can change somebody's life I think the job is done. The job is absolutely done. Yes, of course, some people came to me in my inbox and said, uh, you are just putting up and highlighting the Fang Mentors on just episode one. And it's okay, because maybe that's a dream for a hell lot of thousands and millions of people to get into those companies. Maybe I'll bring in some of the failed startup here who will say that I failed this startup because of this. And I'm open for all of that. This is like a book library that I'm creating here, which is people's experience, how they have achieved something or how their statement can help achieve somebody else to do the same. It is not about all the big shots, all the highlighted people. It's about everyone. The whole idea is that you should be allowed to chase your dreams.